Good morning, uh, everybody. Um, I invited 2013 as one of the first artists for a solo show. I invited Loretta Fahrenholz to do a new film for us for the Fridizianum. Loosely based on the novel of Irmgard Coyne, After Midnight, Loretta Fahrenholz produced a new film titled 2AM, which you can watch now, uh, finally, after three years, in the fourth floor of the Tower of the Fridizianum. I think it's worth to see it. It's 40 minutes and it will be all day on. The exhibition will be open. In the exile novel of 1937, Coyne describes Germany under the Nazi era, a time of angst, government control, repression, denunciation and murder. The social fiction film of La Fahrenholz shows the frightening analogies to the present day of surveillance, capitalism and re-emerging fascism. And that led us to the symposium we are doing today with the question, is there a new fascism emerging? Has fascism reinvented itself? Can old theories regarding fascism be still adequate to analyze these new forms? Or does these terms only demonize the people and the parties, as Santal Muff suggests? Is the experience and and or the angst of disintegration the reason of discriminatory attitudes against minorities at migra as migrants, asylum seekers, Muslim, homosexual people or homeless people, uh, as the research project of Willem Heitmeier suggests. Did the complicity of the left with the neoliberal elite lead to the rising of the right? And how can we form a countervailing power as Tamas asked today? Is the global civil war the only answer in that stage of development as Franco Bifo Baradi suggests? I think all this question we try to get closer and try to find some answer today. And I think uh, the urgency of this topic is inevitable. And the awareness shows that you are here today. And I hope and I wish that the outcome of the symposium help us to counterweil the uprising forces. Um, unfortunately, and I think we're all a bit sad about it, is that Didier Eribor is suffering from a flu and can't be with us today. Uh, but everybody else is here and I think we have a lot to discuss. Um, now I would like to introduce uh, Gernot Kamake, who together with Anna Seiler, who's doing the publication of the Fridizianum, will introduce and moderate today's symposium. There are here a lot of chairs still empty, so feel free to go through. Uh, Gernot Kamak is a writer and translator and he's graduate Romanist and his particular interest are the overlaps of literature and philosophy. He's teaching at the Universita Nacional Colombia in Bogota and at the Humboldt University in Berlin. And I will give now the word over to Gernot Kamak. Hello, good morning. I'm so glad to see everybody here um, <clears throat> to listen to this conference about uh, these urgent questions we have about uh, the rights of new fascism. My role today is a very small one. I just will introduce very briefly the speakers and then uh, guide uh, through the discussion tonight with all the speakers and, well, we'll have uh, four talks, uh, two in the morning and two in the afternoon. And uh, every speaker will speak about 30 or 40 minutes. And then you, have, you can ask your questions to everybody. You know? And, uh, well, I, I please to do so. You know? Feel free to, to ask your questions. Everything will be in English, but if you don't feel like uh, speaking English so fluently, so you can ask your questions maybe as well in German or French, so we want to translate it, uh, them to, to, uh, to the speakers. Uh, 